Alright guys, uh, this is the uh, third part of the assembly and um, this is what I got so far here. I got uh, one heat sink assembled already. Yeah, I gotta grind these screw heads down, but I got them, uh, I got everything, uh, thermal greased and everything in between these channels, and, um, just gotta do some fine tuning, uh, wiping some of this excess grease away um, but uh, yeah it's kind of a pain in the ass just because um, the screws I'm using right here these things pretty well suck the heads keep breaking off just a little bit of pressure the heads break off and then you got to screw down inside your uh, aluminum heat sink and it's steel inside of aluminum and uh, you're forced to drill out the little bit that's left it's just a pain in the ass um, <laughs> If you can buy assembled heat sinks in the dimensions that you need, do that. Don't do this. This is a pain in the ass. I didn't think it would be this hard, but it's a pain in the ass. But, anyways, there's one of my heat sinks. And then, um,. The LEDs will go on the bottom of that, of course. I'm going to take it upstairs and do a heat test just to make sure the heat's transferring into the fins okay. And then i got to grind these down, uh, which isn't a problem. And then i uh, got to do it again to this one. And then I'm done. But, uh, yeah, it's been a pain in the ass. Just because those freaking screw heads keep breaking off, that is what's causing this to suck so bad. But, anyways, yeah, these are all tapped. You can see they're all tapped and the bird, de bird, and everything. So there's no burr, even there there's no burr, it's just the protective plastic coating on the outside that you see there, even that side's been deburred. And um, that just allows these to sit flatter on the heat sink. So, anyways, um... I'll be getting another video uh, after these are assembled and then I'm gonna take this angle iron here well angle aluminum I should say and cut it and then um, screw these two together six inches apart like this approximately like that far apart and then um, once uh, that's done that'll be the base of the system and then probably start adjusting uh, a couple things the LED layout and that getting into adjusting the drivers and stuff 
and then um, after that I'll be going further into uh, finalizing the project into a kind of a casing also there's going to be like a ducting a duct system that I'm going to put on these to channel the air through the fins so that the fan the air movement is going to be channeled through the fins and um, maximize cooling efficiency but uh, anyways yeah that's that so far so stay tuned for the next video number four